some reason in the darkness. Do not prove me right about Kaysen being the bad guy, too. Because then Emily's going to be in real big trouble. It's a coin flip for me where they're going to go there. He could just be genuinely helpful here, but this all feels like dramatic irony building up. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here. Come on, hurry. Isn't that where I was going in a second? Did I get turned around? We are running so far. I'm glad that, yeah, so we're going to the community center. Thankfully they skipped ahead like I thought. Uh, downside, we don't have a vehicle, so even if something goes wrong, we can't drive away. Nearby? Good job, Willie. Can we stop running now, please? Wow, that was that was a very smitten animation she did there. This rain's also bad. The rain being on means that someone might go crazy. Like, what if Kaysen's friendly all the time until the rain happens, then it starts awaking things in the inside of him? What if it's hyper-effective on dogs? Hey, so we took the long route here. You weren't playing with us, were you? George, we found out where York is. Great. George? Kaysen, I'm going in alone. Hey, hey, you didn't forget what George said. No, I haven't. And that's why you get to stay out here and keep trying to contact him. I'm just going to check things out. I'll stay out of danger. Trust me. Okay, if you say so. I'll take care of this here. Oh, Emily, goddammit. At least I don't have to play a zombie level, right? Because she doesn't see those, right? Oh no, don't make me play a zombie level with her pistol. No. What? I did not see this coming, but also it's not a pleasant surprise. Oh 
Oh, oh, maybe I don't have to play it. Oh, thank God. Her, her seeing it is an interesting development. I just really don't want to play Emily it. Emily is here. Time to say goodbye then. York, no situation is reversible. Didn't you know that? Everyone, everything proceeds along a path preordained by fate. Goodbye then. I wonder who will be the next person to open this door. George? Well, whoever that person is will be the one to decide your fate. Uh, I'm totally hooked up to like a saw machine, aren't I? But what you mean? I mean the movie series Saw, not a literal saw. Although it could be a literal saw, although that, not in the community center. No, she doesn't have real weapons. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, they died a little fast. Maybe it is a good gun. Sure hope so. I'm just I'm like, I don't have all my cool guns. Narratively, it's an interesting development to have her realize what's happening and see this stuff, because that means it's not just York's delusions. <clears throat> it could be that one really messed up interpretation is the idea that York is being infected. Wow, you really escalated your ability, your willingness to shoot these guys, Emily. One messed up interpretation is the idea that York is being affected by the gas and is just mass murdering people. It could work mechanically, but I'm pretty sure it's not the case because where, where are all these mystery dead people coming from that nobody's acknowledging? So that just means it's some kind of weird shared experience probably brought on by the gas. Because it can't be a shared... You're, they're not just both crazy. She wouldn't even be sympathetically manifesting this if that was what she was doing. Because she doesn't know York sees this stuff. Because he never brings it up. But if it is brought on by the gas, then why is the York, why is York not surprised by this? Ah, shit. Stop that. Ugh. No, thank you. Something I'm not certain on is had you because because he he didn't react to it at all, so like I don't know did did York had York seen this stuff before, or was it a surprise that happened when she when he crashed his car? I actually don't know which of those is the case. Oh, are we climbing the clock tower that they used to spray the disease from in the first place? Seems like we're climbing a clock tower. Damn. Dude, she's got a pretty good gun. She actually... She only takes like two headshots to kill. Um... Calm down. That was a weird moment. I heard the you got the kill sound effect, but... He was freaking out, so I just started shooting him again to make it tough. It's a long-ass tower. Because it's not real. It's, it's a space tower. It's an interdimensional Silent Hill tower. Oh boy. There we go. Good shot. <laughs> Hip, 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 hip. Thank goodness for AoE. Do I share York's money? Yes. We're still, we're still building up uh, York's money of 21 grand. Which, damn, he's making bank right now. We 
Would you like to, get to take a nap, Emily? That's normal, right? I guess, yeah, it is the clock tower, huh? I don't know if a clock tower ever looks anything like this in reality anymore, but Castlevania has told me they do. You sure took your time. You've got nowhere to run now. Just surrender yourself. Emily, I've been waiting for you. Where's York? Is he okay? <laughs> He's quite the handsome one, isn't he? I liked him the moment I saw him. He likes someone else, of course. Who do you think that is? Hmm? I'm asking you if he is okay. Answer me. Oh, yes. He is handsome. But me and Carol, we love not him, but a different person. My lovely G. Cut the crap. Do you know what you're doing? Why, yes. I do. All too well. Far better than you do, I think. You know nothing about yourself, nor this town. Please don't make me shoot you. <laughs> You're a silly, sad little woman. We're heading for devastation. All of us. And no one can stop it. <laughs> Oh, Thomas, you're sick, but there's still time. We can get you help. I'll help you. You're too kind, Emily, as kind as a goddess. That's why he likes you. This town is soiled, and only you are shining in it. That's right, Thomas. Let's just leave here together. It was so much better back then. We had so much fun. Emily, that was before you came. I won't let you have him. Um, um, Emily versus Thomas boss fight. What the fuck is happening? Oh, this is weird controls. Uh, evade. Oh. This is fucking weird. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so much better than the really annoying not boss fights. <laughs> it's so doofy, but it's great. Oh god, it's so redeem. This is impossible. The good thing he's like not even fighting back most of the time. happening what is happening I mean I know I know exactly what's happening 
What was that sound? Should I be afraid of that sound? What is that sound? That, that was so loud. What was that? Why was it doing that? What's is it? Am I about to be killed by something? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, the hooks are coming after me, and I do a quick time event. Okay. Uh. <laughs> he's like unshootable until he's on that one. <laughs> Holy crap. Thomas, don't make me shoot again. Surrender and turn yourself in. <laughs> Emily. Thomas. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's enough, Thomas. Just come over here. <laughs> oh, I believe. I believe. I just. I hate you so much. Die, you skanky swine. Sick, you stinky mutt. Get away. Get away from me. Get off. That's a severe outcome. Oh, is that Thomas hanging there? Oh my god. He looks like a strung up turkey. How did you recognize him at that point? Were you even told Thomas was a suspect? That was a lot of gunshots. Uh, something pretty terrible happened. Hey, it's Willie. <laughs> Willie determines my fate. What's behind me? What determines my fate? What does that mean? Is there nothing actually happening in this room? You are not on the ropes, Willie. You're ripping my fingers off. There's nothing behind me. Oh, I guess that was just the sound of the clock tower. I thought something crazy. I thought I was in a death trap. Wait, is the game over? What happened? What have we come to? That was a. R that I gotta give them credit. That was a cool boss fight. Uh, there were some janky, awkward, weird things going on, like the like the aiming being a weird nightmare and. Uh, Mostly that, but then, then like the quick time events, which were amusing, but the part where you press a bunch of buttons in a row was weird. That was a weird implementation of the of the claw boss, the claw quick time event attack thing. But overall, I'm like, oh, this is fun. Erratic serial killer character is 
on a literal clock tower like gears like castlevania and fighting back and we're dodging his bullets and shooting him like that's just all right that's a whole lot better than i thought this game was capable of considering the wall crawler like i was not really expecting something like that from them but that was a genuinely enjoyable fight in a game that doesn't have those it's also cool looking, like the lighting and everything. I'm sorry, did you guys not follow the dog? I guess you're a little focused, maybe you didn't notice the dog came because of the whole being focused on Thomas. Hey! spend some quality time with Zack. I heard gunshots. Did you get our man? York, Thomas is dead. I shot him. He tried to kill me. Thomas, I suppose that this is the fate you talked about. But Emily, what about the murderer? I just told you I had to shoot Thomas. Thomas's actions may have surprised you, I understand that. But our job is to catch the killer, isn't it? You didn't let the killer get away. York, are you saying that Thomas was not responsible for the murders? What? That makes no sense. Emily, are you out of your mind? Thomas was certainly neck deep in this. But he didn't kill the girls. He has concrete alibis for all three murders. He also doesn't have the reverse peace symbol on his back. These are basic facts that for sure you haven't forgotten. Then who? I need you to be strong, Emily. If Thomas is not the killer, then there is only one other possibility. The only one with free access to the department files and doesn't have an alibi at the time of the killings. Love G himself. George? George is the killer? And since when did you start thinking this? I wasn't sure to start with, but you saw the pictures, right? In that secret room in Carol's bar, that was when I became 100% positive. But George didn't have the tattoo on his back. Ah, oh, right. He doesn't have a tattoo on his back. But there is a pattern there. What do you mean? Emily, I'm not saying that the pattern was the tattoo. Remember what Harry said. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. And George's back is a perfect example. Hey! You two, could you explain this so I can understand what's going on? Emily, come in. Emily here. I've rescued Agent York from the clock tower. Thomas is dead. I was forced to shoot him. I see. And you two both all right? Uh, York is a little weak, but we're heading back to the department now. George is a friend of yours, isn't he? Yes. Then what we are about to do is going to be tough to deal with. Are you willing to go through with this? York, I'm Deputy Sheriff. This might be a small town, but I take pride in that. It's my duty to make sure that we catch all the bad guys in Greenville. Even if it means facing an end that I would never have hoped for. Okay, then let's get moving. This case is going to end at the Sheriff's Department. This is madness! Willie, come on, let's go with him. 
chickening out now, it'd be like leaving after eating the appetizers. I piece. I realized that that was. I realized that George was G, when he was like, "Those are the great times." It was before you were here. I'm like, okay, because George is interested in Emily, so Thomas is jealous of Emily. Okay, I did not piece together or make the leap, arguably, that that means George is also the raincoat killer. Uh, does George have an alibi for any of the killings? Because we were always with Emily all the time. We kept investigating alongside Emily, and George was with us sometimes, but not during any of the talks we had, or the, whenever we'd be doing something right before the, one of the killings was about to happen. Like, uh, Betty died when we were talking to Nick's wife, and it was me and Emily. And yeah, George would always just show up later. And George actually... Cre yeah, George directly caused the deaths of uh, the second and third people. Uh, he's the one that cut the wire that killed the woman in the bathtub, and he's the one that loosened the giant uh, model thing that looks like it's from Beetlejuice, which in which crushed and impaled the other woman. So she, he was directly involved in both of those. Uh, so if he was doing it on purpose, that'd be very easy to do. Uh, although he did catch us. I guess he has to at that point. Hmm. We'll see. Thomas, no. So he... Did he even cause... Did Thomas... Was he even involved in the killing? Like, was he even... Was he even, uh... It makes sense Thomas didn't kill anybody because he was revolted by the killings. Like, he was disturbed by them and ran away and stuff like that and would throw up and was really bothered by them uh, and seemed surprised by them. Uh... Does he know that George is the killer, even? Or is he just a, an unrelated side story that just is losing, like, losing his mind... Like, he's supposed to be this deranged... He's this deranged cross-dresser that wants George. And is that... Is that unrelated malice towards Emily? That's not even related to the killing, or what? I'm not entirely sure. Either way, Emily has seen... The, um... The Yorkverse. <laughs> which sets her apart. Emily, I'm going in from the front. You secure the back. Okay. What should I do? Kason, stay at the entrance. No, don't cut me out now. If this was a movie, I'd be some minor nameless character. And I thought I was the cheerful sidekick that helped solve the case. George can just shoot you. Like, he can just shoot you. Let's see, you're supposed to help locate the stuff, and then, you know, take a back seat. Ooh, is it gonna be York and Emily? Do this for me, game. No! What? Where's- where's Emily? She's not gonna stay outside. She should be here. That'd be such an epic conclusion. To have George- to have York and Emily, uh, cooperating through a mission. Because they've both seen it now. And then they can be OTP, ha ha ha.
Uh, better not be Emily. How would it even be Emily? She was just here. Zach, I thought we might get a warm welcoming. What? She was right next to you. What is happening? What is like the logistical timeline of this of this story right now? Since you cannot carry any more items, first aid kit small has been moved to your toolbox. Okay, so everything that Emily picked up that I couldn't carry is getting moved to my toolbox, so I got to keep all those items. Shit. 22, the throne of abyss. This is still only chapter 22 out of 26. Huh. Um... Oh, she's doing that again. Crackers. In case you're hungry. Are you hungry, Mr. York? I haven't checked for a while. No, his meters are full. We're getting more and more items to help with those meters, but the meters are kind of irrelevant. Because we're in, like, narrative mode. Where all the open world mechanics kind of are not affecting the story for, like, several chapters. Key for hidden room. Hmm? Oh yeah, there it is. I helped you find your dumbbells, you bastard. And this is how you treat me? I thought we were friends, George. Hold your horses. We need one more. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no. Thought I was under attack. Weird use of sound. Yeah. Bunch of certificates. Buck. Bunch of guns. So many trophies. He really wants people to see his trophies. Yeah. Let's save. <laughs> 